So to do this, I'm just going to compose it down at the bottom of the page here. You want to kind of establish this box that'll have the image kind of placed in there. So it's this 30 degree line. So if I have a couple angles going this way, I'm trying to look at the overall size of this. You can also start and build one at a time, but it makes it a little bit easier to try to get the overall proportions. So the top of this piece, maybe this section that's on this stock or whatever, I'm not too familiar all the details of this, just kind of illustrating it. So it's just like block building with blocks and then rounding them off. So kind of taking a look at it like that. So it's just kind of giving you a, a basis part here. So here's the, the handle. And still, if it's geometric at first, but then it can become very organic, but based off of this initial setup, that's how it starts. So when you take a look at the, the, no, the nozzle or the barrel of this, it's the same idea. Here's what I mean by the circle being cut in, a, in the uh, rectangular shape. So the elliptical shape is going to be built right in there. And we'll go over more of that as well. But it's just kind of giving you the end of it. As it comes down here, you can kind of, if you establish a circle, at least you can find the diagonals and build up the center. You can always just try to get the elliptical shape headed that way and get comfortable, get some confidence in that part to build that up. <clears throat> so it's just a simple sketch as you're doing, again, trying to keep the perspective part. The part that holds the trigger, you still it's a good idea if you build it up as a square first. Find kind of the midpoints of all those parts and just kind of, if it's a straight line, you're just kind of curving it to fit in there. And it helps you with the overall section of this. You can really bend this up, find a thickness to it. Handle comes a little more curved. Builds it up right off of there. <clears throat> this part that has a little bit of the sight. Still build that up off of a rectangle right at the top of this. And then it has a little bit of curve sectioned right off in there. <clears throat> so give it a try. See what you can pull off the the barrel part, again, starts with a square shape, and then the curve comes out of it. And it's trying to just get you loose enough to try to figure out as you start to illustrate and that section as you go to the part that has a little bit more detail and you can see how once you have the general larger shapes drawn out the secondary ones are easily placed right on top Again, it's, it's modified, it's not as rectangular, <clears throat> finds a couple grooves that are cut out, and like I said, it's very mechanical. Let's see if you can't place that on there. And again, so again, you can start some of the shading in there. And since it's the cylinders, thinking back to the gradients in the computer, or building those pieces up, you can kind of 
shade those in pretty easily. And then you start to go back in with some of the some of the outside lines. And like I said, as you start to compose this, you'll see how you can begin to illustrate this. And you can add stuff to it, any details that you'd like. So as you get half of it, then you can start to shade it. And again, think of the accent lines that are on there. See 